All right, meteorologist Mike Joyce is uh, in Canfield. He's stationed there this morning. Mike, what can you tell us where you are right now? Good morning, everybody. We are standing outside the ODOT garage in uh, Canfield, right along Route 224. And while we do, or while it is a slow go for some motorists out here in Canfield, the roads have actually had a good plow in a lot in a lot of the uh, main roads down here in the village of Canfield. But the same cannot be said of some side roads. So if you're navigating out of side roads in the morning. Please be cautious. Once you get to the main roads, it'll be a little bit better, but that's not true in all cases across the valley. We did have a little bit of a round of uh, freezing rain come through just about a half hour ago. Right now we're looking at a few flurries falling, so we are right along that dividing line between the uh, freezing drizzle and the flurries. So that freezing drizzle will coat the ground, which the temperature of the ground is staying below freezing because the surface temperature actually doesn't has not gone above freezing. But the reason why we're getting that freezing rain is because just a little bit up in the atmosphere, it's ab above freezing and it doesn't have that chance to become snow again before it hits the ground. So again, we're outside of the ODOT garage here in Canfield. The plows are out in full force this morning. So if you encounter a plow, please be very cautious. Stay back from it. Let them do their jobs. And if you need to pass them, do so very, very cautiously. They are out working hard to make sure we are all safe as we all get to work this morning. It's rough out there for a lot of us, but people are making it. Just go below the speed limit. Use your best judgment and uh, stay safe out there. It is important to know that they are dropping salt, a little bit extra salt in, in stopping points near stoplights, and that'll help uh, gain a little bit of traction as you stop at those locations this morning. So guys, it's a little rough out here, but we are managing and the... Uh... All right. Mike yep. Joyce with the latest from Canfield and very good advice. And I have to say that I didn't go through any of the uh, the stoplights this morning. All my analog brakes worked and I did. I was able to stop and then get going and then get going again, again which, which, which is, is the, the tough difficult part. part. Yeah. So if you usually take the oh, the ropes, <laughs> I mean, what more can we do? She's on sense? it. Yeah. Talk about a full day of work. Well, Mike Joyce is joining us again this morning with another weather update as he travels through Mahoning and Columbiana counties. So Mike, where are you and what can you tell us? It looks bad there. Hey guys, we are on our way south on or southwest on Route 62. We're going to head down to Salem in Columbiana County. Right now we're in southwest Mahoning County and uh, 62 is not looking the greatest right now as we keep heading southwest. We're uh, approaching intersections. A lot more cars out on the road now, now that we're getting closer to that 6 o'clock hour. So that does mean as traffic increases, you're going to have to take it slower and, uh, of course, use extra caution. A lot of the main roads, especially in the towns, are okay. The plows have been out. Salt has been laid down, especially near those stopping points where you get near the traffic lights or the stop signs. They've really been uh, trying to keep those, uh, those spots clear so that you don't slide. If you have anti-lock brakes and you start to slide, make sure you keep the keep your foot on the pedal. The car will do all the work it needs to do. But if you do not have anti-lock brakes, make sure to pump the pedal. You don't want your we wheels to lock up. That's when you lose control. And that's certainly possible out here this morning with the uh, roads that have anywhere between four to six inches of wet snow on them. And there have been locations that have seen freezing rain over the past hour. We've, we've reached that transition point where we had a little bit of warm air in the upper levels that allowed that, uh, or rather the levels just a little bit above us that allowed us to have that freezing rain. So that coated some of the wet, already wet snow made roads slick, but ODOT is all out in full force here in Mahoning County and down in Columbiana County. All the plows are out and uh, getting the roads cleared for all those motorists out there getting ready to go to work. A lot of us still have to go to work on this uh, snowy morning. A lot of cancellations and closings for schools and uh, it is certainly the day for that because the roads are not in good shape. So again, exercise caution when, you, when you're out there. Take it slow. If you encounter a plow, give it space to work. And if you need to pass it, pass it. But do so very, very carefully. They have to be mindful of what they're plowing and they have to watch for you. So make that, uh, make that a priority as you're traveling out and about this morning. And uh, just be safe. It's, it's, it's treacherous out there. And uh, we're going to keep covering the southern portions of the W viewing area. And uh, we're 
we're, we're getting there, but we're it's uh, it's 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 a little bit of a rough go for you, guys. Yeah, Take 62 your time, you guys. heading south. So far, I think that's probably the worst Towards of what Salem. we've seen yet. That's what I saw. That's yeah. when I was coming to work at 4 in the morning. Day, so the scrolling, um, what do we call it? Crawl. The ticker, the crawl, <laughs> the crawl at the bottom of the screen. is scrolling at the, at the bottom of your screen. All right, Mike Joyce has been working his tail off this morning. He's down south. Last we checked, he was in Salem. What's going on there, Mike? You getting the rain and the sleet where you are? We're still down in Salem right now, and the snow removal has begun. A lot of folks out here clearing the pass and getting ready for business on this very, very snowy and what we're reporting now here in Salem, freezing rain falling. We just about five minutes ago actually had a little bit of a heavy band of that freezing rain come through. It's since gotten a little bit lighter, but it's providing a uh, ice glaze on top of the snow that has already fallen, which is leading to a little bit of trouble as people try to remove the snow and, uh, of course, get make their way around town this morning. So when we get this... Uh, freezing rain. We're still in the upper 20s here at the surface. So when we've got warmer air just to just to the just to our uh, above us, it'll hit the ground and instantly freeze. So that's what we're dealing with here in Salem right now and in a lot of the southern communities in the valley still even a few spots up north seeing some of that mix coming in. We've got giant snow piles here. A lot of people working out here to uh, clear the snow and uh, again watch out for the plows they're doing their best trying to get all the uh, streets clear for all the people that need to get to where they have to go this morning we have a, a tractor out there making some uh, snow piles here in uh, Salem right along Ohio Avenue and people are people are making the best of it yeah, we're, we're getting things done here and a lot of roads are starting to get clear so Still want to take, you still want to go slow, go a little under the speed limit. And now that we're getting into that 7 o'clock hour, more people are out on the roads. So you want to take it slow. You're probably not going to make the speed limit this morning. It's uh, still treacherous out there, but a lot of folks are making it so that we can uh, make it to where we have to go safely. Again, watch out for the plows. Stay at least 200 to 300 feet away. And if you need to pass them, do so very cautiously. They're trying their best to make it so that we can all get to where we need to go so guys it's it's a little it's a little wintry out here we're still dealing with the freezing rain but uh that should be coming to an end in at least the next couple of hours be careful coming back mike no what kidding tractor was just zipping right around wasn't it i know that church looked pretty good and that 